That means in the middle, in the center piece of the Menaira, this is what you had over there. And he says, now, I mentioned yesterday in the Gemara, there's a Shaiva how to read these words. Or and So, this Pasuk says only to the middle one. By the other Pesukim, it's quite clear. But the Rambam, we'll see later, says that everything was Meshukadim. Meshukadim means, Meshukadim comes from the word uh, Ammons. Ammon. In other words, there's two types of, when you make something from gold or silver, so it could be smooth, or it could be like little pieces coming out from it. It's got little designs. So it looks nicer if it's little designs, it looks nicer. So the Rambam holds that everything was Mishukadim. That's the, that's the Rambam Shita. And, and the Rambam holds that the, the, the whole Shaila is only in the Pasuk itself, how to read the Pasuk. But it doesn't mean to say that everything was not Mishukadim. In other words, because if if it, it's nicer to be Meshachadim, so then it's a chalik of Zeh Kehu Bambeyo, to make it nicer. So why, why should, because some want to learn that only the, uh, the middle one was Meshachadim, but not the, 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 the pipes, the condom that came out. And the Rebbe holds that if, if there was such a thing as Meshachadim, and Meshachadim, and there was because it's nicer, and it doesn't make sense to say that on one section they had it and on one section they didn't have it. That's how the Rebbe learns to overhead this halacha. So he says that v'ayt parach shlishi ha'ya samach li'yerecha shamanayra shenama ad yerecha ad pecha. Okay. So that's as far as the scent of the menorah was concerned. We were at yesterday. Now he said, It had three feet. It had a base with three feet. That means by each place where the condom came out from the centerpiece. So by each place where the centerpiece came out, over there, there was also a, a kafta, kafta of ferach, under, under each of the uh, pipes that came out to the side. Nimsas comes out, the kola gevi'im ishnayim v'esim, the total of the gevi'im is 22, and the flowers are tissue. That's our prakam. And like the buttons, echad also eleven. The kulam ma'akum ze eze. There's not, you must make all of them. Can't get away with just making some and not have all of them. But fill a chasa echad mahem. So, Minashnayim Vaboyim from the you know if you add together the twenty two and the nine and the eleven, so it all comes up to forty two. So if one of the forty two is missing, Ma'akab is cool. Now the Ramana says, Ahmed Varamamurim 
When the menorah was made of gold, if the menorah was made of other metals, like when the time of the Chashmonoyim, so they had a problem with the menorah, and they had a, they had a temporary menorah that they made, is ein oisem bogvim kavtayim v'ferach. So you don't all these trimmings that we have. You don't need all these trimmings. You just make a, a basic menorah. V'chein menorah habo zor tia kula kika im neira sel v'tia kula miksha min ha'eshtasos. In other words, this din that the Torah says. You see some menorah zah, kika zah, tahar, you should make it. And from that you made the menorah with all the cups and everything, everything was all formed out from that. That's only the menorah that's in the taita. The menorah in the taita was a menorah shazah. So you needed all these things. But any other menorah that's made from other metals, so you don't need it. In fact, the, the, the Rebbe says, when we start a Perik Shlishi, it starts, Hamanayda Mepharesha Sirasa Bataira. In other words, there is a Manayda which is Mephudish in the Taira, but that's not necessarily the way the Manayda always has to be made. Because Perik Halakha Dalit explains what we said in the beginning. For in the beginning, when you learn, Hamanayda Mepharesha Sirasa Bataira, means that's how it has to look. So it makes no difference if it's gold or something else. So the Raman says no. In the Taita is Mefudesh a golden menorah. That golden menorah had all these details of the uh, cups and everything. And if it's made of anything else, then it doesn't need all the details that the Taita gave. Vishasha mine matchis. If it's made of any other metal, al mishkala. In other words, the Torah state that the menorah should be kika zov. A kika was a measurement of gold. It was a size and a weight of gold. That's if you're making it of zov. But if you're not making it of zov, it doesn't matter. The im hoisa chalula is kashedo, meaning to say that the the uh, when they make a menorah today, when they make menorahs, how do they make menorahs today? I mean, when they're going around on, let's say, on the soyim, how do they make menorahs? Everything is hollow. So the center is hollow, and then there's a wire that comes off into the corner, and then it comes up on top, and you have over there a, 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 a switch where you can put in a ball board. So it was hollow. But when it was made in the base of Mikdash, it wasn't made hollow. It was made all solid gold. Because, duch and duch. But they, 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 they didn't need uh, an electrical contraption with wires going off to the side. Because on the top, they had the cups, and they put the cups in there. And that's how they had the menorah working. The Ein Eisen. Now, grutois means what we call in, in our language scrap metal. In other words, there's, there's people that they deal in, in scrap. You, they have it, it used to be on, on East New York yes, Avenue. Yeah. There used to be a big place over there where the it's, it's goyim that went around collecting pieces of scrap would come there and they'd get a, a few dollars. They buy the scrap, and then the scrap is, is used, it's melted, and it's like for recycling. So he's saying that he can't make it from the scrap metal, because the scrap metal could have been from a Zara also, if it's a piece of scrap. In other even though we've said before that the menorah must be a kicker, and all the laws only apply by, by a golden menorah, and the laws don't apply by another metal. He said this law does apply, because if let's say if it's silver or if it's uh, 
uh, something else, right? We don't want it to be from a, a scrap of a Vedizara. Now, when we talk about the Menaira needing to be a Kikazov, so now he's going to explain what of the Menaira has to be a Kikazov. What does that mean? By, by the Menaira, there were uh, um, certain Kalim that they used for the lighting of the menorah, for the cleaning of the menorah. This was like, 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 like Melkachayim. Melkachayim is a, like a plier. And Machtais is a shovel. In other words, it doesn't mean big shovels and big pliers, but you needed something to pull out the psila, and you needed something to clean out the charcoal the burn that burnt off from the psila. So for this you had the, and also the, we'll see in some later, but when they used to light the menorah, they, they didn't light, it's not like when, when, you, when your wife is lighting candles on Shabbos, so she takes a match and she goes to each candle and put it on. It didn't work that way. They would pull the masila, the psila, they would pull the masila to the center or to the Nam Maravi, which was soon discussed, which was the Nam Maravi, and they would light it and then bring it back into the cup that it stood. So for all this, you needed to have these pliers to, to operate to work with. So he says, Hamelkachayim, that's the, the pliers, the Hamachtes, and the little shovels, Ukli Hashemin, there was Kalim that were used for oil. In other words, the oil was in a big jug, and then you would take out from the jug into a smaller one, and then you'd put it into a smaller a thing, you know, a smaller bottle or what to, to be able to fold. You can't take the big jug to fold the menorah. So he says, all the clear shaman ain't in the Mekal HaKika. They're not in a part of this Kika of Zov that we're talking about the Foolish made the menorah. Shaharei Nema the menorah, by the menorah it says, Zohav Tar, Vechaza, and Veoma Makachel or Makdasa is also Zohav Tar. So you see that there's there's two there's two Zohav Tar. There was one Zohav Tar that made the Menaira, and there was one Zohav Tar that made these uh, things that were needed in order to operate the Menaira. Now, see now he's going to say. What about the cups of where you, where, you, where you put where you fill the oil in? That's called the neris, actually. But the cups where you fill the oil was that also part of the kikazov or not? So he says, "Vleinema neriseha zov tor." It doesn't. It, it says that malkacha shivi zov tor. What about Nerisehem? The the cups on top of the menorah, does that also have to be Zavtar or not? So what he's going to say now is that would depend how it was made. If you made the menorah, then you made the cups and you screwed them in. So then it's a separate thing. But that's not the way they made the menorah. From the <coughs> menorah, from, the, from the, the, the chunk of gold that they knocked out, that they formed, they formed also the cup together with it. So he's so saying, it doesn't say there, it says Zavtar. Why not? Not that that doesn't have to be Zavtar. It had to be Zavtar. But the menorah were not, like I said before, made separate cups and they screwed on or attached them uh, they were part of the menorah. Mel is a part of the menorah. Mel behem mikal hakika. So it's all part of this uh, chunk of gold which they shaped the menorah with. Shivas kenei ha menorah ma'akrim ze'eze. In other words, the menorah always has to be seven konim. 
Veshivas Nerisel, Ma'akvim, Zeza, Bein Shehoyse Shazor, Bein Shehoyse Shazor, Ma'akvim. Even though he said that there are certain things that you don't, if it's of a, of a metal, like the Gevim and the Kavtaitim, you don't need them, but you must have the cups, must be all part of it. The Cholaneiras, Kavuyim, the Konim. All the candles were not, I said, as I said before, separated and attached or hooked on or what or, or melted on, but they were all made part together with the menorah. Shishas Haneiras, Hakvuim, Bisheshas Akonim. Now, he calls it the, 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 the Konim. The is the like the posts or the hands that come out from the middle part of the menorah, and on top of there, there's a, 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 a cup for oil. So he calls it Neiras. The Sheshes are Neiras, Hakvuyim B'Shesh Akonim, Hayotzim Min Amenorah, that come out of menorah. Kulam Peneim Litzad Ha'Emtzoi. They all were facing, they, they were bent, bent towards the middle <coughs> of the Menaira. She'al k'nei ha-Menaira, v'zeh ha-ner ha-Metzoi, is pona k'nege kotcher kadashim, v'hu ha-nikro ner ma-ravi. Now it is, there's a big show, I mean, the Rebbe, once gave out a whole uh, little safer about the the sheet of Sarambam <coughs> and the lighting of the Menorah. The question is, what is called Nerem Tsoi? I think he's going to talk about it later also, because the Chesamisha said that later they'll explain what Nerem Tsoi is. But some say that Nerem, uh, ne, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Nerem Aravi, what we call Nerem Aravi. Some say that Nerem Aravi means the, the Menorah was standing in the in the base of Bigdish, right? It was standing in um, in in, in Dorum, in the south, and it was standing from Mizuch to Maidav. That's how when we light candles in the shul, that's why we do it that way. We put it up on the on the wall. There's a guy that there's a shiva that not everyone agrees with that. Some some don't do that way. But uh, it's a mission brewery brings a, a pips or some safe about it. But uh, if it's if it's near the Aron Kaidish, that that some don't some, not everybody lights it near the Aron Kaidish. Some light it by the by the wall, you know. But uh, they they do maybe a little bit different. But uh, the way we, we do it, so the 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 ner that that's uh, in this shul Marshall, This is mizuch, and that's Maidiv, right? And the menorah is standing this way. See mizuch, huh? Oh, like standing this way, right? So the ner marovi. Now, when you're going to Rambam, we're talking about Neram Tsoi, we're talking about the middle one over here. It was the Neh, and you'll call the Neh, you'll say that they were all going to, to here, so they were facing the Ansoi. But the Rambam doesn't call it Neh, he calls it Neh Marabi. So, why is this middle one called Neh Marabi? Neh Marabi should be. That one over there, the, the first one on that side, is Neh Marovi. So, someone will learn, Taka, that Neh Marovi means the one on that side. And someone will learn that Neh Marovi is on this side. So, which, why this side should be Neh Mizrahi? So, they say that it means the second candle. The second candle, the first candle is Mizrah. The second candle is already to Maidav. So that's what the different opinions that there are about the Ne'er Maravi, if it means that one on that side 
or it means the one on, on this side, number two, because number two is the first one of the candles that's in Maidav. Now the first one of the candles is a Mizuch, and the first one of the candles that's a Maidav is the second one. So that's a, a whole thing that the Rebbe wrote a whole uh, Kunta song called, uh, I forgot the, got a ship, so with blue covers, uh, a bound, uh, a bound little cipher. Huh? Shimon Samanayim. Okay. Hagavim, the cups, he says, Doimim, the Kaisis, Alexandrias. They look like Egyptian type of cups. Now, in our language, I don't know what an Egyptian cup looks like, but in our language, we would say it looks like a, a cone. You know, if you if you buy ice cream and you want to put it in a, a cone, so the cone comes a, a point down the bottom and it comes wider up on top and they put in the ice cream in there and it drips into the into the thing. So he says that that these Gavim, they were um, like Kaisas Alexandrias. In other words, usually a cup is like this is flat over here it goes up could be a little going up the side but the bottom has a base and these cups over here didn't have a base there was a, a point not not a base so he says that hagavim daimim lukaisis alexandrias shapian rochov the opening is wide vishuleim kotze and the bottom is very narrow now, the question is, how were, how, how were these conim put on the Menorah? In other words, let's say, let's say that, that this is, this is the, we'll say that, that this is the, the, uh, the Gevea, right? It could have been get on the corner like a sleeve, okay? You put it this way, so the narrow part was connected to the to the pipe, to the corner, and the wider pipe was open <clears> on <throat> the top, okay? You know that that's the way you normally like the way you would hold it. How would you hold it? You would hold when you hold a um, uh, uh, an ice cream cone, you hold it by the, the lower part, and the, the, uh, the upper part is the part that's, that's open. Another way to do it is just the opposite. To, like, slip them on to the corner, and Bermela, the narrow part is connected <laughs> to the corner, and the wider part is open. Doing it that way, it's like taking a cup and turning it upside down. So, and the way it was in the, in the Beis HaMikdash, it was taken upside down. If you look at the pictures that they show, I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a picture. But in the, huh? Rambam, the son of the Rambam made a picture. I know, I know, I know, but in, in the, uh, if you look in, in the Dvamachos, they have they have a, a picture over there. Yeah, yeah. So the question is, okay. There's there's two chidushim in 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 the in the uh, in, in the kanum. One chidush is that it was balachsen, it was on an angle. And this the Rebbe is medayik. We'll see later. That is medayik that it was on an alachs on, on a slant, coming out this way on a slant, not. Bent. And the Rebbe says that where did the idea come of a bent menorah? Hagam, Hagam, there are, uh, I, I remember in, in Farshim HaChumash, I think the Chaskuni says that it was, it was like roundish, not, not the way Lubavitch makes it. So the Rebbe said that it comes from a mistake. There was a, 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 a goy, by the name Titus Sarashin. 
Titus was a general by the Chulben Beis Hamikdash, and he came from Rome. And when he came back to his city, so they made like uh, a Kabbalist pun of him. They made a a, a special a Shah Titus, a special gate of Titus, and on the gate there was a picture of a menorah to show that he brought the menorah to to Rome. Over there, the picture of the menorah is a menorah where it goes around. So the Rebbe said, but that's, that's, not, that's a mistake. That's how the Rebbe claims. And, and therefore, he says it has to be slanty, and the, that's the right way. And, he, and, the, and the Rebbe brings that in, in the beginning, when you learn the Rambam and other Svarim, no one had a clear picture of, of what the menorah looked like really. So they based it on that picture, assuming that that was like type of menorah that Titus brought back. But it was a mistake. But later, later there came a Ksav Yadin of the Rambam. There was a, a, a Pach, a, 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 a Kapach edition where they translated the Rambam from in the original language with a picture. So the picture was with slants, and the picture was the cups were turned upside down. So that that's the Rebbe Shita about, about the slanty menorah. Now the question, why the cups are upside down? So the Rebbe once said in the Fabrengen that the reason why the cups were upside down was just like in the Beis Migdash, the Beis Hamikdash had windows, but the windows were made different than our windows. Our windows are made, you make a wide window <coughs> in order to bring in the light, right? And the Beis Hamikdash, they were made narrow windows in order to show that they didn't need the light, they didn't need the light in the Beis Hamikdash. The light was to go out to the world. So the same thing that ever said when gave to the Gevi'im, being that the Menorah was the idea, the symbol of light, so you want to show like the Chilu Eiru who sort of that we don't need the light. How do you show it? By taking the cup and upside down. The Mela, so it shows that we don't, it's not, we did not make it for the light, for the purpose that light in the Beis Okay.